yeah good evening students so today we are going to discuss one more another activity in our chapter living and non living so in that last activity we discussed about plant has nose so through the stomata respiration occur in the plants and uh, get uh, uh, rid of the waste from the plants that also excretion also we discussed so by the respiration carbon dioxide releases by the excretion some of the waste products are released out of the body so that we discussed in that last session now we are going to discuss about activity 5 that is i wrote here may not be clear i think it is so activity 5 egg or baby egg or baby so here students you have to form as a group four to five members okay you can uh, find out in your surroundings some of the animal names you can observe some of the animals and classify them which lay eggs and which give birth to young ones you can classify them so that we want to do in this activity so for that what we want to do what is even your textbook i will explain with the textbook only just i am going to read and i will explain you can write some questions also in this uh, activity that i will tell at the end make a group with the four or five students list out birds and animals from your surroundings so you have to form as a group four or five members then you observe what are the birds which are moving around you in your locality and what are the animals how do they produce their young ones so how do they produce their young ones means here the question the meaning of that question do they lay eggs or do they give birth to young ones that you want to find out okay so then what do you want to do write in table 5 whether they lay eggs or they give birth to young ones so you whatever the list you got from your surroundings whatever the animal names and whatever the birds name you collected by observing in your surroundings that you can classify the animals which they lay eggs and the animals which they give birth to young ones so that you fill in this table 5 which is given in our textbook so some of the animals and some of the birds name you will collect from your surroundings by observing you will observe those animals and birds you will write their names and you will observe do they lay eggs or do they give birth to young ones so you are going to classify them lay eggs or giving birth to young ones so that in the table you are going to fill give some of the for example birds so uh, pigeon lizard hen so these are all we will see in our surroundings then cow goat sheep buffalo cat also we can see in our surroundings so cow goat sheep and buffalo give birth to young one hen crow lizard okay some birds lay eggs so that we will find or we will uh, choose in our surroundings these are some of the examples for lay eggs and some of the example for give birth to young ones so after completion of that what you are going to know in, in this so here which they lay eggs which do they lay eggs those we call as oviparous which give birth to young ones those we call as viviparous so we can we can know these animals from our surroundings we can know these animals from our surroundings for that you can write two questions what are in our textbook given ov paras this word given you can underline before that what are oviparous then 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर वी वी पैरस यू कैन राइट दिस टू क्वेश्चंस वो वी पैरस एंड वी वी पैरस यू कैन अंडरलाइन इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड यू कैन फाइंड आउट व्हाट आर वो वी पैरस एंड व्हाट आर वी वी पैरस सो अप टू नाउ व्हाट एवर वी डिस्कस द एनिमल्स व्हिच गिव बर्थ टू यंग वंस दोस आर नोन एज वी वी पैरस the animals which lay eggs from that eggs which they get their offspring those are called oviparous okay so here why these two questions i asked you means already i taught to you in the class once again i am giving in this way revision in eighth class again we are going to discuss about oviparous and viviparous so how do we find oviparous and viviparous if we observe the animals which have the external hair and hair on their skin those are called viviparous they give birth to young ones the animals which have external hair and hair on their skin those are called viviparous and they give birth to young ones the animals which won't have external hair and which they which lay eggs those are vv oviparous so here oviparous organisms won't have external hair and on their body feathers are there so those organisms lay eggs so that's what those are called oviparous ova means egg they lay eggs from the egg so they can hatch and they get their offspring but vv paras external ears and air on their skin we can find so those are called vv paras so here about ov paras and vv paras we are learning so we will find out some of the organs in our locality some are ov and some are vv paras then up to now we are discussing about uh, animals so animals are classified as oviparous and viviparous means some animals lay eggs those are called oviparous some animals give birth to young ones those are called viviparous then what about plants is there such a kind of classification can plants be classified as a oviparous and viviparous is there this kind of classification in oviparous and viviparous in the plants no plants not classified like this so no oviparous and viviparous in the plants but we know that seeds germinate into plants this mean that plants also produce their young ones so if we want to get a new plant that new plant we will get from the seed so that seeds change as a new plant germination occur from that seeds seeds germination is one of the way of doing this so from the seeds we will get a, a new plant so plants also get their offsprings animals also get their offsprings but animals classified as oviparous and viviparous but plants only with the seeds we will get their offsprings then other modes also is there so other modes we will discuss in higher classes so this is about activity 5 egg or baby so why we given this activity name egg or baby means some animals lay eggs so that's what those are called oviparous what do we call oviparous some animals lay some animals give birth to young one those are called viviparous these are called oviparous those are called viviparous ova egg vv means baby will give directly birth so this is about activity 5 i think you understood students so here i gave you two questions so what are oviparous and another one is what are viviparous what are vv parents so you can read this activity thoroughly you can write these two questions in your textbook and 
answer also in your textbook is there once you see that uh, in that uh, page number whatever the page which is given in our textbook just you go through that uh, answer so what is given in our textbook once i am going to read birds and animals that lay eggs for giving birth two young ones are known as oviparous birds and animals lay eggs for giving birth two young ones are known as oviparous so they lay eggs for their young ones so that's what those are called oviparous then what is given in sex, uh, next one those which give birth to young ones without laying eggs are called viviparous they give directly young ones without laying eggs so other organisms other animals they give birth to young ones without laying eggs those are called viviparous oviparous they lay eggs for their young ones viviparous without laying eggs they get their offspring directly they give birth to young one so this is about ov and vv so plants also i said already with the help of the seeds we will get new plant that is also their offspring so this is complete conclusion of activity 5